whilst I wait for Jo, it's still five minutes, she's not late or anything. Uh, this is the second time we, me and her are doing this interview. We did it yesterday, uh, on the Thursday, uh, sorry, on the Wednesday, and it, her internet was not great. Let's fill this up, actually. To the tippy top! What would be quite funny is that it gets to four o'clock and she just doesn't turn up. And she's like, nah, I bailed. <laughs> oh, just as I say that, admit. I'll get the questions up. That'd be a clever idea. Hey! Hey! Right. Second time's the charm, I think is, uh, is what they say. I'm, I really, really hope that this one works. <laughs> Same. Because <laughs> that would be a darn shame. Got to promote that Venus Flint. Right. I'll speak. So it says I need, uh, I'm going to record this one too because. Um, Good idea. Because I did it last time and it didn't fucking work. So um, it says I need to have your permission. Oh. Uh. I'm not seeing anything. This is in the chat. You should have permission. Let me check. Let me. Uh, oh, I can't edit. Yeah, in picture. <laughs> oh, you're not in the picture. I just oh. like, <laughs> you get, like the dialogue Dumb. box. So I was like, eh. <laughs> oh, it's not loading. I hate everything. I hate my house. <laughs> <laughs> It's going well already. Uh, I told you, uh, like, I live in the woods, and we just got, like, decent Wi-Fi. Like, yeah. literally just got decent Wi-Fi. And it goes out half the time. So right. it's like you're, like, finagling with, like, the modem. Yeah. Trying to, like, get the Wi-Fi to work. Because <laughs> nothing works. Is it, like, I don't know, is, <laughs> as unprofessional as it sounds, do you have, like, a camera you could just record yourself with physically? <laughs> I got this, <laughs> uh, but I don't know if it's gonna. <laughs> Just trying to, well, to be um, fair, your internet seems to be holding up so far. Like you've not roboted yet, so that. Like, I hope it stays that way. But you know, as <laughs> soon as we say that, it's gonna be. Yeah, fingers fingers crossed. Oh yeah, check out this cool thing I can do. Hold on a minute, where did it go? Settings, this, boop. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> now that's I mean, promotion. I knew you could do like backgrounds, but like I've just never done it. I'm sorry, yeah, I'm I, I didn't know I could do it either until I just started playing with it. I thought that was quite funny. Right. We had, a, we had a guy in our theater department just have like background as like cats, like Good. different cats every class period. It was great. And that's what I'm seeing. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Your picture just came through as well. That's weird. Uh, let's see. Lock meeting, no. Hide profile picture, no. Share screen, no. no, no. Hmm. Maybe that's a thing I had to do before. Okay. Started. Okay. Well, let's fingers crossed that I'll just record my audio. Good idea. That'd be a very clever idea, there, Joe. We had to do that with whenever Luke was interviewing me for something. We had to record my audio because it was just like the same thing. Oh yeah, There's... like a couple of months ago, he interviewed me for like a behind the scenes Venus thing. I completely yeah, forgot. and he's supposed to like interview Abby and I think uh, James as well, and he hasn't done that yet. So <sighs> dun dun dun. All right, so we're just gonna. I there we how go. How much ragging on poor Luke will do this interview? <laughs> Probably not a lot. He had to work last night, oh. and I called him at like eight o'clock this morning because I was like, uh what was it like he sent me like this cryptic message and i was like the fuck does this mean and like i like i like called him as soon as i woke up at like eight o'clock and he was like why the fuck are you calling me so early i was like <laughs> bitch i thought you were dead <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> right <sighs> straight into these questions i suppose uh hi joe hi hi <laughs> That's a natural way of starting this interview. So, <laughs> very natural. <laughs> <laughs> so, Venus Flint is what we're talking about today. Episode one, as of yes. recording this, uh, came out uh, a week or so ago. But I want to know where did the idea come from? Well, um, I'd go digging for the picture, but I think I've sent it in the Discord. Mm. Um, 
it came out when I was uh, about 16 years old and it was just, I saw something on my Pinterest and I fell in love with the artwork, uh, with like the little, just everything about it was just something that I wanted to do for a character. I know it's supposed to be River, okay? I know, but. I'll just Photoshop your face on it and it'll be fine. Yes, <laughs> but I just kind of took it and ran with it. And we look up and it's two years later and nope, four years later and it's a series now. Well, that was um, going to be my second question. How long have you been working on? Well, at least have had this idea. Well, I mean, of course, I'm 20 now. I just turned 20 in May mm -hmm. and I've had it since I was about 16 years old. So a while. Have, <laughs> yeah, a while. Um, but I've never really thought about doing anything with it. It was mainly just like a little fun thing for me and Luke to kind of toy around with. Mm. And because we were dating at the time as well. And we've been dating a long time. <laughs> I think we're about to reach our five year anniversary this oh, wow. of wow. October. So we're getting Congratulations. excited. <laughs> um, all I want is stationary. That's literally all I want. Um, That's specific. Yeah, I just want stationary. stationary. Well, I write letters to like my friends. Right. And I'm out of my old stationary kit that I've had for two years. And he's like, I'm going to get you an ink and quill set and some stationery. And nice. He's like, will you send me letters if I give you this? <laughs> well, so, um, if, we're, if, if we ever meet you for your birthday, I'll be sure to bring a protractor or a compass or something. <laughs> nice math set. Oh, I can't do math. I have to use a calculator like to just. Well, Do same it. here. Like, why, why would they invent it. the calculator for us not to use it? Doesn't make yeah, sense. Yeah, that was me in math class. Where they were like, "You can't use your calculator on this test." Well, I mean, I've been using the calculator for three months trying to learn this subject. <laughs> I sense. don't know how to do it without the calculator. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad school is behind me because, nah, I got my C. I, just, I got my passing grade. I'm done. I just checked uh, my degree plan at the school I'm headed to, and I don't have to have a single math class, and I'm pumped that's a weird because i was like if i have to go to this fucking liberal arts college and take a fucking math class i'm gonna quit he's <laughs> <laughs> like no i know you're here for theater and history and like we're a liberal arts college but here's a math class <laughs> yeah no you don't want that god no oh so, well some jobs how you have to do that as well like you can't get a job unless you have a passing grade it's rubbish <laughs> no yeah Oh, uh, that's how it was at, at the junior college I just left, that if you had any grade lower than, because I worked in the history department, mm. and so if you didn't have a grade higher than, like, lower, if you had a grade lower than, like, a B, mm. you couldn't work for this teacher. A B? And a B. A B? Yeah. Like, this teacher, the teacher that I worked for, Mr. Offer, was super like laid back he was, he's like my favorite teacher but we also had a uh, dr wade who was the other history teacher and he was like very strict oh. um and i graded papers for him one time and he was like and they didn't do this 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 and this it was all bullshit and i'm <laughs> like like okay so you're gonna take a bunch of like high school kids because we had high school kids coming in and doing college classes at our college you have a bunch of high school kids most of which are sophomores who mm. don't know how to write at a college level and you're grading them like they're like they're seniors in college right and i just didn't do it i i think i gave the majority of them like hundreds i was just good like, <laughs> doing the world of service work. this is an eight page essay i'm just happy you did it and then I just <laughs> <laughs> but yeah and then of course i started teaching um kind of on the side to make money and that's what i've been doing for six months <laughs> no it sounds really cool uh, working in i mean but i suppose both of us work in sort of the, the i suppose the childcare sector but you yeah. work yeah, with a lot older and i'm with like three to four year olds we run the gamut <laughs> i work i work from um third grade to uh seniors in high school as a and british person how old is third grade third grade is like nine Okay. Like nine. No, I take that back. Eight, eight, nine, eight, nine. Yeah. Wait. I don't, I don't know. Seven, eight. Again, this Around is where the math comes back in. Like numbers. I don't know. 
um, okay, wait, oh, okay. So I was in third grade in um I don't fucking know. <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can, I can always tell like how old I was because I'm one year behind the year because I was born in 2001. Oh, cool! So that's, so. that's how I can uh, tell like how old I was on this year because I'm stupid like that. Hey, what? <laughs> to, like have a system. <laughs> <laughs> like Luke's just like, oh yeah, I was born in 2000, so I'm 21 this year, and I'm like, am I 19 or am I 20? <laughs> Hold on, what year is it? <laughs> Have I had my birthday or is it still coming? What is that? Yeah. Where am I? <laughs> right. So back onto the Venus Flint train. Um, so you obviously have worked with quite a lot of people to get this project off the ground. Yes. Um, so why don't we take some time to sort of go through uh, some of those names? Uh, we'll start with, uh, of course, the editor, uh, who is uh, an asshole. Hate him. Terrible person. Uh, <laughs> He's Who gonna watch this. He's gonna feel so bad. <laughs> He's I love like, you. Jim sorry, hates I'm me. I'm like, you should have seen what we were doing like when we like stopped recording yesterday. <laughs> mm. <But> yes, <laughs> do tell about our, our, our the lovely editor for Venus Flint. Our lovely editor is my boyfriend. Telling you, I know like we're recording everything. I'm just telling you, and I'm probably gonna tell the Discord. I just like don't want that out yet because of. You. Oh, of course, I, I will. I will cut this out. Of the bleep interview. it! Just bleep it. <laughs> yeah, I'll just make it. Uh, I'll leave it up to interpretation. Yeah, so, sorry, Luke. So Luke Lane, my boyfriend, he has um, done an amazing job editing the series. Um, he has also been rec. He also recommended um, pretty much the entire cast. Um, I picked a few people. Um, like you, Jack, he sent me a video and I was like, if you can bring me Jack Reeves, I swear to God, I'll marry you on the spot. Yeah, because I was just about six about. others. Thank you very much. We <laughs> yeah, spoke but they about weren't this. working out. Like they like <laughs> they sounded, I remember this one dude, I don't even remember his name. He found him off like a like Reddit or something. And he had like a decent accent, but it was more like a mixture of nine and eleven. Oh, that's a weird mix. And it was like the weirdest thing because I was like, okay, like. Like at one line, he'd be like straight up nine and then he'd have like the perfect 11. And I was like, that is peculiar. You know, and I just didn't want to like mess with that. Like have to like make him do like line by line by line by line. Yeah. And then um, one of our friends, I forgot who it was. I think uh, Josh Griggs, I think. Luke will probably correct me in the comments. Josh Gr- oh, I know Josh Griggs. <laughs> yeah, no, he uh, he recommended you. Oh, and your videos, and I was like, "If you can get me Jack Reeves, I, I, I the, the series will be made." Boom! And I've made it. <laughs> and then, like, you just like agreed to. It. I was not expecting you to agree to it, honestly. I was just like, I was still auditioning people as we were waiting on your answer. Well, and, I was very close to a no. It, it was a <laughs> dreadful project. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no. If we're, if we're talking about the first script, yes, it was. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have, like, a copy of, like, the original, like, before the edit oh, uh, that everybody it. made. And I was reading it, and I was like, my God, I sent this to people. I sent this to Simon Fisher Becker. What the was fuck is Was that extra wrong growling? No, it was, <laughs> no, it was just, like... If you thought Venus was a whiny brat before, she was like nine times worse. Oh god. She was literally a fucking whiny kid. And I cut a lot of that out because I kind of wanted the audience to take her for what she was, which is an 18-year-old kid mm. who is not used to being told no, who is, you know, starving for adventure. And that's why she does it. And then she's like, being told, well, you can't do this and you're too young and yada, yada, yada. And she's just like, well, fuck you. you know? <laughs> <laughs> and that's kind of what um, I kind of want that to lead us into our Jenny and Vastra, Lauren Lee and mm. Abby Louise, who have been nothing but amazing. Um, yeah. They have delivered in so many, in, in more ways than one. I have just and I knew from the start that Abby and Lauren were going to get the job done because they've been in so many other things. Yeah. And um, Luke recommended those, those two as well. And I was more skeptical, not because I didn't want them on the project, but 
do I want this rejection? Oh, I <laughs> do see. Do I yeah. want someone to tell me no? <laughs> and the like I said yesterday, the first answer was no. And um, Luke finally explained it the way it's supposed to be explained. And <laughs> and you know they were kind of more on board with it at that point. Yeah. And that's when we got the whole read through and got everybody, you know, got the edits in, fixed the script, made it to where Venus isn't a whiny brat for 40 minutes. And which that's pretty much what the script is. <laughs> um, but, and, you know, sorry, I blanked. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is early for me. <laughs> so you just had a little flashback there. Yes. I was just, just, this is like reading the script like the script pages are just you're just seeing the first draft like oh god (laughs) i'm gonna burn that i'm gonna burn it and post it on youtube i swear i'll Um, watch that i will i will print the first like draft out and burn it and post it on youtube because Ah. i hate it (laughs) um so we've mentioned uh luke who edited it and uh, recommended a lot of the cast uh myself uh abby and uh you know the, the jennies and the vastras so who else uh, in the cast who else you got matt like, i don't know matt plays strax <laughs> i love matt <laughs> matt is amazing mm. like he i don't know like what it is about matt but like every time i talk to him i feel like 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 i know he's a dad but like i feel like he's like dad he you know his dad energy. yeah he has like dad energy so like you kind of feel like kind of relaxed around him so like you can like go to him with things i'm not one of those people that ask for help so i i'm like the last person that will ask you for help um i would rather a project crash and burn before i ask for help than ask for help because i don't know but matt just like makes it to where i feel like i'm not being judged (laughs) Um, in a world where you're constantly being judged, especially in the, in the business that you and I are in. Yeah. That's everyone's a critic as they say. Yeah, for real. Um, and I, I don't know, Max just doesn't seem very judgmental at all. And I love him to death and he plays an awesome Strax. And I know he's he got does. lots of love from everybody who's watched the first episode so far, because I mean, honestly, when I heard his Strax, I was like, Hold on. So then I turned on one of the Paternoster Gang like audiobook episodes and I was like, wait. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Hang on. I got the same guy. <laughs> but no, like literally, Matt just blew me away the Strax impression. I had literally had no, no idea who these people were yeah. when I first started this. And of course, I met everybody indirectly through Luke and I was like, I'm gonna get on this call and be a bitch and nobody's <laughs> gonna like me. <laughs> well the first time I spoke to you was obviously the uh, first read through because I was being a little bastard and I was like, oh I don't need to do like read throughs or rehearsals. Can I, just I can send just you send my the stuff? lines. Don't need me. You don't need that. No you can't. <laughs> it was yeah I was a little bastard. But um yeah that was the first time I had met you but that was also in the same call and I will never for- uh, forgive you where you had Simon Fisher Becker and you didn't tell me that is someone who has worked with the actual Matt Smith and uh, Jacob Dudman a renowned 11th Doctor Impressionist and then there's he- me <laughs> see the plan was that we weren't going to tell any of the cast yeah and, nice surprise <laughs> uh, we weren't going to tell any of the cast and then the first read through came on we had to read the before the one you joined oh and yeah you got sick on that one i think uh, that might have been either me being sick or me pretending i won't lie to you <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like answer any of our texts we're like hey we're on the read through can you you know get the fuck on <laughs> and uh he like didn't answer any of our texts i was like blowing his phone up like his discord up and i was like okay fine whatever we'll do it without him yeah and then, <laughs> and then like a lot of shit went wrong in that in that read through. I'm glad and I missed it then. Didn't miss I out. I almost it. quit. Like I legit almost crapped the project. Really? I, was, I almost quit. I was just like, you know what? If people are gonna act like if 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 this is gonna work the way it's gonna work, if this isn't gonna, if people aren't going to enjoy it, like if the cast doesn't enjoy it, you know, you I nearly ruined tell. everything. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> So like if the cast doesn't enjoy it, there's no point in putting it out there because yeah. you can obviously tell when a cast does not enjoy the script. That's true. That is true. And 
so we fixed those problems. Yeah. It was a very easy fix. Everybody talked it out. Everybody's cool. And then you came on. And we had to basically explain to everybody why we waited so long because we mm. were, all, one, introducing you and two, waiting on Simon Fisher Becker to get in there. And he never did because he got busy that day, mm. and which I can completely understand. And then, of course, he came in the second one and we were just waiting. And you came in and introduced you to everybody and we started the read through. And then Simon Fisher Becker just left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, they, well, didn't he have a power he cut? Oh, he had a power cut. That was and funny. I heard somebody go, hey, dude's gone. And we're like, like, like I went on the script. I went, what the fuck? So, like, I'm like, <laughs> going through it. And I'm like, looking through it. I just see Simon Fisher Becker's gone. I'm thinking, oh, God, he hated the script so fucking much he left. <laughs> and then he texts Luke and he was like, hey, we had a power cut. I'll try to join it if I can. And I was like, at that point, we're at like the end of yeah the script so it's not a big deal and then we we're like okay we're gonna take 10 to give simon time to get back in and then i go up to get like a diet coke or something and i just hear jack out just jack out, like at the end of my dorm room just go so when were you gonna tell me that simon fisher Becker was gonna be here <laughs> i was so <laughs> irrationally mad so luckily mad. i had my webcam off i don't think i had a webcam at that point so you guys couldn't see what i was doing but i was genuinely when i joined it or when he joined i was like yeah, I muted myself. Went, Jen, they've got Dorium. <laughs> <laughs> like that was a funny read through, though. It was hilarious. It was so I'm getting to know you. Funny. It was so um the the battle of what the fuck is this? <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> I do, because obviously I hadn't properly read the script up until that point. I had skimmed it, or maybe I ignored it. Yeah, because uh, I do that, and um, so I was getting through it. I was like. So uh, we're going to go to the battle of what the fuck? And uh, I was just because then, then I forgot who I was in company. losing their shit laughing. And yeah, I was class clown in that read through. We, we, we had to like teach you how to say it. Yeah, you had to <laughs> like phonetically so do it. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> And then um, you like sent us your lines and you got it right like the first time you said it and then you went back and said it wrong the second time. <laughs> yeah, that's me. No, the only other, the one other funny one I remember is um, the old fat blue line. Um, yes, so Dorian like, says it. Know. And it was my line directly afterwards. So I took the opportunity and went, Really? Are you offended by that? <laughs> like, were you offended by that? And he's like, it was Matt's favorite line. It was. It was Matt's favorite. And we were like, what? <laughs> he just said it. I had to say it tons of times. <laughs> I, was, I was like, man, just imagine like having Matt Smith's favorite line in the script. And just, That'd be so good. That'd be my I life. I just imagine like I'd Matt Smith like, being there and just. Oh, that's Twitter. Okay, Twitter. sorry. Twitter just came through, and I was like, what, "Who the fuck is this person?" <laughs> I don't understand Twitter. So, uh, before... so like, I can just imagine Matt Smith like coming out of like the Taurus on set, and just hearing him say that line, be like, "Do it again," and then just like the Taurus. <laughs> he like has a whip. Do it again. I'm the star of the show. I'm allowed. <laughs> just imagine that. Like, I just I feel like. I feel like if I ever got that big, I'd be someone like that. It's like, hey, I like your line. You're going to say it until I feel like you can't say it. Oh, hell yeah. (laughs) Abuse the power. (laughs) I'm getting... Oh, my God. Okay. (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm just thinking about the read through. Oh, it's so good. We'll have to to talk about that properly another time because it was quite an experience. Yeah. Uh, Before I move on to the next bit, the one bit uh, member of the team that we didn't mention I want to is uh, your resident composer. James York, the godsend that he is, mm. is, I mean, he's done fabulous things, Nightmare Museum. He's done, I was in this episode, I can't remember the name. <laughs> um, I swear I have ADHD. Um, but like, he's done so many fabulous things and I have just been honored to work with him and that he's, you know, doing the music and he did just such a fabulous job. With the time that he was given, to do yeah, like, the music yeah again. it was short notice i can say that and i mean i i remember waking up that morning and you know asking luke i was like okay so is the edit finished because i know you worked on it last night while i passed out on the couch so um yeah i passed out watching um i think it was american dad or something as one um, <laughs> but um 
he was working on the script and then you know we you know got him with the bed so the next morning he's in the kitchen i walk out there i'm like so how's the edit coming he's like oh i only have one scene left and i'm like you do realize today is the 20th right and he's like yeah yeah no i can get it done and then like you were in the whole discord and everybody was like Oh, we were on a right out. I was, I was enjoying watching the chaos. I won't lie to you. Like, <laughs> I was straight up panicking. And, you know, then Matt got, like, upset. And then I was upset that Matt was upset. And then Luke got, like, really, like, withdrawn. Like, we went to, like, go grocery shopping, like, right after all that went down because we had time now. And we, like, we got in the car and he just was silent. If you yeah. know Luke, he's never fucking silent. And I was like, babe, no one's really mad at you. Like, everybody's just trying to figure out how to fix the problem because we have a problem that we need to fix. He's like, yeah, but it's my fault. And I'm like, I mean, yeah, but like. <laughs> <laughs> I thought what was coming. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all my fault. Yeah, but. Yeah. No, we, we yeah, I mean, yeah, but sorry, like I got a Facebook notification right as I said that. And I was like, <laughs> really? <laughs> you guys know I'm doing this today, right? Come and on, they do guys. because I sent it in the group chat. I was like, no one messaged the group chat. <laughs> Y'all message each other. Yeah, I closed <laughs> everything else because I knew that was going to be Facebook is closed. On my computer, Facebook is closed. It's ah. like still giving me notifications. Damn, also, Facebook. Twitter. Mark I don't know Zuckerberg, why that is. leave us alone. So, <clears throat> that chaos basically ended with us getting the finished edit to James. And, you know, uh, he worked the whole day, finished it uh, at around one o'clock and we probably could have kept our time, but at that point it was just like, there's so much chaos going on. Luke was in a bad headspace. I was like, I'm not putting him through that. I don't want to jump on a call and then people start like, ragging on him like even just like joking because he can take that personally yeah and i was like you know what we'll just push it back so that's when we had the whole fiasco when it wouldn't fucking upload yeah on that note uh so how'd the cast premiere go hmm because we were having fun (laughs) you were having fun i was um getting ready to throw shit to a wall yeah Um, you were dressed as donna noble from fires of pompeii and uh having a having a rough old time from what i remember i i vaguely remember i was Mm. (laughs) um panicking uh because it wasn't uploading and then like it was taking forever and then i I took we took luke's laptop drove to a starbucks that starbucks wi-fi was shitty too so we put it on my like mobile hotspot and it was better than the fucking starbucks wi-fi and we got it to where it was uploading because we finally just like left the Starbucks and we got to where it was uploading and then we moved it over to um, Luke's house and finally finished uploading. I left my phone in there so I could, you know, he could keep it in range. I was doing my makeup and all of a sudden Luke just goes, have you not verified your account yet? And I walk in there, I'm like, that was your you know, responsibility. You're the one who set this whole thing up. Mm-hmm. And he was like, no. And I was like, you set this up like literally two years ago. Right. This was your job. And then we got in like a whole argument and then I was trying to fix it. And that finally just said, you just go get on the zoom. Just, Oh, I laptop that unplugged. So like, just go get on the zoom, get everybody ready. I'll fix it. Couldn't fix it. Uh, we just started a new upload and we had to share the screen, mm-hmm. uh, share our screen for the rest of the cast, which was kind of sucky because Luke's speakers are terrible on his, on his computer. So luckily I think it just used the computer's audio because it was good quality. I will say. Yeah. So I mean, luckily. I think, I think, <laughs> no, it's just his fucking speakers. Like, it's just, <laughs> like we, like I was sitting there and I'm thinking, I cannot wait to get to the screen because it's just going to be like, because and that's it it actually didn't sound too bad but you know who did sound bad Strack sounded bad on the speakers 
Did he? You couldn't understand a single. F- if I did not write the script, I would have not known what the man was saying. Oh, that's a bugger. And I was like, Luke, we you are so fucking lucky that they are saying it's good because <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it was so fine, bad right. to fucking give Matt the shaft like that. Oh, that would have been awful. You know, in the normal audio, that. you can understand what he's saying, but fucking Luke's speaker sucked. Yeah. Uh, That's because he blew him out because uh, he was watching like the epic version of like the Doctor Who theme <laughs> and it like the bass dropped and blew the speakers out. I think that's what happened. The epic and, version. I might know who made that. That's hilarious. If it is, if it's what I'm thinking of, that's hilarious. I don't know. It's been a while ago. I, it, it may not even be what he was listening to. I, he may have just poured water on him. Honest, why not just directly on it like there you go water in the plants there you go <laughs> it's thirsty <laughs> <laughs> it needs a drink did you ever do that as a kid like just pour water on random shit and say it was thirsty or was that just me um quite possibly just you um I was a weird kid <laughs> yeah like, every, everything in my mind was like alive right like it was you just putting your shoes on, like, I'm sorry, stepping on the no, floor, I'm sorry. I, those kids, I had like a bathtub like full of toys because I didn't want any of them to get jealous. <laughs> That's adorable, but also weird. What? I was really weird. And then finally, at like age 10, I grew out of it. And I only have like this one fox stuffy that like I will never go anywhere without. Really? Because I have a comfort item. Mm. And I, don't know, I just really like foxes. So, oh, yeah, the cast premiere was um, great fun. Great. And then Plus. <laughs> we all know what happened uh, after that. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember sticking around until like 1 a.m. just to chat away. Yeah, you, uh, <laughs> I don't know how much I'm allowed to say. No, don't just just leave it up to their imagination. We it's up to happened. you. We had a drug fueled rave. That, no. Um, so, Two, uh, two more questions to go. We're doing well. It hasn't roboted yet. That's good. This is good. So, uh, how would you rate your British accent out of 10? Don't. Okay. Yeah. Four. Wow, really? Why so low? Because I feel like I could do it better. I feel more... Um, like, I know it's pretty decent but i feel like especially when i'm recording um long scripts like i recorded um angel i can kind of lose the pitch and i can lose the um accent from time to time right. um i know that um abby brought this up one time that i say i still say can't and not can't you know so careful with that um, one <laughs> yeah that's what she said <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I, I rate it low because I feel like it, I could probably get a little bit more training in right. and get it to where it sounds even more believable. Um, mm. Because, I mean, I've had people say it's believable, but I don't think I could go on a London street and make somebody think that I'm actually Yeah, there. I mean, I suppose it's a good thing that almost the entirety of the rest of the cast uh, is British. So you just you, you might be able to take it all in through osmosis. Yeah, <laughs> and like for, if you guys like, if I were ever in a read through and I am in, you know, my Venus voice, and you guys, you know, think I said something wrong, or you know, like call me out if I slip out of the accent, or if it's not believable, I will fix it. I will do everything in my power to fix it because I am very OCD like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I keep that in mind. It. Just call me out, like straight up, just be like, you bitch, <laughs> Venus, you uh, bitch. Uh, Use the right accent. <laughs> it's in there. That line is it. If you listen very carefully, I'm not going to tell you where. The, the uh, line yeah. that I say, Venus, you bitch, is genuinely in the in episode in, one. In the edit. They snuck um, that blooper in. And yeah, no. And it was because you were just, you were like just rambling on the argument. And I was trying to keep up with you because I was also writing my side of the argument. As yeah, I was we did it separately as well. So you were just trying to do it to what I had already pre-recorded. Yeah, and mainly it was just Venus being a brat and just talking over him, just because she can. It works. And, Venus is loud. Um, and 
so whenever I heard the you bitch at the end of it, I was actually like recording, just like improving what I was doing with like my phone. And I just stopped. And I was like, <laughs> I have a line here, but no. And, and I was thinking, should we just scrap? the I'll shove my boot line and move the slap to there because he just called her a bit. Sure did. <laughs> because I don't because, know. Yeah. I wanted him to put it I wanted him to put it um like like in the part like where we like we're first seeing Eleven for the first time. Mm. Uh where there's like muffled like conversation. I was like that'd be like the perfect place to like put it. <laughs> just like just for us because no one else can hear it but like for us to know it's there <laughs> just in context <laughs> like, like oh venus you bitch that's our daughter oh sorry, <laughs> yes i was in my own head there sorry did i say that out loud <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry i really hate your daughter <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah um that line when I caught it, when I caught it, because it took me three or four listens to even catch it. Because Luke kept telling me it's in there. I'm not telling you where it is. I missed it at the it's premiere. I'm I was really annoyed that I didn't hear it. Because you were all yeah, like, like, did you talk- hear it? Like, hear what? We paused it. We're like, Jack, did you hear it? <laughs> <laughs> I know Chelsea heard it. Yeah. Chelsea heard it. Chelsea's and... sending me gifts. Go away, Chelsea. Sorry, continue. <laughs> uh Chelsea heard it uh ariana heard it but she knew it was there Mm. um she knew it was already in there um because i told her (laughs) that helps um of course me and luke knew and i think james knew as well but i don't think he reacted to it but we were (laughs) and then you flipped me off at the slap scene i did yeah i I, because obviously um the entire cast at the cast premiere was muted um just so we could make sure we listen and so when the slap happened, I was like, oh, oh, that wasn't in the script. So I just did this. <laughs> <laughs> Flipped him off there. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of fun bants you can expect with the Venus Flint crew. I'm really hoping that I can record like the next read through that like, we're all together. That'd be fun. And I may just like bring you in because if you want to like be in the read through, if you're not like in the script or anything, you can just show up. Like, honestly. yeah, might as well. Like, I can read how, the that's, stage direction. That's directions. why Torchwood was there the last time. That's why Torchwood was there. That's true. Because, I was confused. Like, well, that, that, that was just one. there to like, well, also just to get to know the characters. And yeah, I'll just read the like, stage directions as uh, as a, as Matt Smith. So scene one. Yes, Venus's <laughs> bedroom. <laughs> Luke, you're fired. <laughs> Sorry, Luke. <laughs> so, last thing I want to mention, we uh, we brought it up the last time we tried to do this interview yesterday, and I mainly want to talk about it because it is it's something that happens and it's quite weird. So, you being uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, a woman uh, can get treated very strangely. So. You think so? Good, good. I think I might be. You just quite possibly. <laughs> Um, and people such as yourself get treated differently online to such as myself. And uh, I just want to, men- to bring up the point of when you're talking to really anyone online, you g- just think about what you're saying, because it's younger boys, I noticed especially, just have a very creepy way of talking to uh, women on the Internet. So is, is there any sort of uh, thing you want to add to that? Uh- I mean, you said it perfectly, um, but I mean, we can't um, disclude uh, and, and like not include um, everybody else in that too, because I know it's not just women that are experiencing this kind of this type of behavior. Um, but I do personally know people who have experienced some mm-hmm. icky behavior from people and it, I think I told you this yesterday, the minute um, I was told about it, I flew off the handle through a fucking shit bit. Like I was pissed. Yeah. And because I am very protective over my friends, my cast, everything. I will not let anybody talk shit about my cast. Period. I am the first on the fence. I will fuck a bitch up for you guys. <laughs> and so whenever I figured out that that was going on, I got rather upset well, so to speak. um 
and I just became more wary of the group of people that do this kind of thing, which like you said, is mainly younger guys, you know, younger kids who don't really see a problem with it. Yeah. And they don't quite see it because they don't experience it necessarily. Mm-hmm. So they don't really see like that problem with it. They don't really think they're doing anything that bad. And then when like, especially on our end, we're just like, ew, like, <laughs> thanks for asking about my ass, but you know. That's yeah, it's, it's an odd. Mm. Uh, some of the things I've heard, I've, I'm not going to name names on either side, but mm. some of the things that I've heard f- uh, through a few mutuals, just uh, the, the questions that can be asked are so direct and so inherently creepy that it's just almost surprising that they themselves don't realize what they're doing half the time. And I think um, when they get to a certain age, they do realize that it can be seen as creepy. Mm. I just don't think they care. And, or they think that if I am direct enough, I will get noticed. Yeah. And I think that's more along the lines of what's happening at the older age groups. Because when it's like the younger kids, they don't really know. They're just, you know, doing it. And, or they know and they don't care. And, or they just know and raise them to respect other people and other people's bodies and privacy and that kind of thing. Um, but I personally have not really experienced anything like that online. Um, I mean, yeah, like the, like I've had creepy dudes like come in and be like, like just comment on like shit that you don't need to be commenting on. Like, mm. I'm not going to go into details here, but I've never like, it's not as bad as what some of the people that I know have experienced. Yeah, and I think we're thinking of some of the same examples here. Yeah, and I'm, it, it makes me just furious whenever I see that. And I'm, I consider myself lucky that I haven't had to experience that level of behavior. Um, but I, I just like, like you said, just watch what you say. Like it's, yeah, we understand that as creators, we're putting ourselves out there. We are, you know, using our faces and our likeness. Um, to, just to, you know, TikTok, YouTube, anything like that. We are putting ourselves out there. We understand that that does not give you the right to sexualize us like that or anybody. Yeah. I don't care if it's a man, woman, you know, non binary. I don't care. It's you have no right, even if it's on the internet, even if it's out there to sexualize someone like that to their face. Mm. Because we're not doing it for your pleasure. Mm. We're not doing it for you to get off. We're doing it because we like to do we're we're making the art we want to make. Yeah. And we want to look good doing it, god damn it. Not for you, it's for me. (laughs) I want to look good for me. It's just like, I don't put on makeup because I I feel like I need to look good for other people. I put on makeup because I like doing it. It relieves my anxiety. Well, I mean, like, I know I've posted pictures in the Discord of me covered in stage dirt, of me covered in So much blood, so much blood. (laughs) And um, I remember this one time I was literally covered head to toe in blood. And... (laughs) I had to go to my theater. I remember this story, yes. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Oh, that was a day. <laughs> but uh, you can, I, so I, I like doing that kind of stuff. So don't sit there and think that it's for you or for anybody that we're mm. dressed up. Yeah. Because we can dress up and do whatever we want and look good while we're doing like making the art that we're making but don't sexualize it yeah so no rule 34 is a venus went god damn it <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> again like we, you. this is something uh you mentioned i think luke was originally brought it up but if i ever see that like genuinely quit. I'll, I'll, Straight I'll, up, I'll i quit, <laughs> quit. no me and you quit <laughs> we're done <laughs> oh it's yeah, so that's one. So if you want Venus to continue, no rule 34. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I will quit. <laughs> the, the project will be canceled. 
Yes, and God. I will start on another project. <laughs> Good idea. I have one in mind already. Oh, exciting. Well. It's, uh, it's not even who related. <laughs> oh, it's, even more exciting. So, yeah, it's, it's based off one of my old LARP characters back when I did that. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> shut up i had a girl i had a one of my friends went to um a doctor who larp one time and it was the funniest shit a she doctor has who larp. Like, she has pictures it was like organized by like some high school mm. and the pictures were hysterical we had they had like trash cans like made up to look like Daleks That's and they nice. look so fucking bad <laughs> and I was just like losing my shit and I was like I should have gone I should have gone and she she told me that I didn't miss much like no one really did anything like it wasn't like it was she said it was more like a comic con than a larp okay like, it was like comic cons without the like shops <laughs> well yeah. Right, well, thank you for sitting down. Uh, again, Venus Flint, episode one, An Angel Goes to War, is out now. It recently crossed 300 views, which is excellent. Uh, and keep an eye out for Blood Feud, who, who, which will be premiering uh, this October. Exciting stuff. Make sure you subscribe to that uh, channel linked down below. And thank you again, Joe, for joining me. Of course, thank you for having me. Woo! And now I stop the recording.